Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy and welcome to the first ever review slash unboxing. So today we're going to be unboxing the Air Jordan 31 Shattered Backboards. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, smash the like button and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe right in the description below. The shoes are actually really nice. Um, compared to the Air Jordan 31 band, someone text me, hold on. Okay, sorry. Compared to the Air Jordan 31 bands, I do, I like these better actually. The only thing I like about the bands better is because it says band, like I said before. What did I say? I don't even know. Um, this shoe is so clean though, like I love the orange on it. Like I said before, the quality is pretty good. It's not the best, but it's a really good shoe. And detail, instead of having that um, insole with the, instead of having that insole that says not the insole, the insole with the backboard breaking like in the ones, it has this. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has that broken backboard, which I think is a dope touch to this shoe. And then right here, it has a little jump mount. Oh shit, I hit my tripod. Sorry about that. Um, here we have some cushion things for basketball, like these orange cushion things that make the shoe so comfortable. Um, the lace locks are dope. Not the lace locks. The lace, the laces are sick. Look at these. Those are dope laces. I really like that. Um, the laces are pretty cool. What else? What else? It has that cool fade thing, like I said before, with the Nike. It just fades into the orange, which I think is sick. The quality over here is cool. I like that orange touch that they did. The silver touch too is cool bottom orange dope like that um what else it says flight speed right here if you guys can see that which is pretty cool um but this shoe is really sick actually and it's comfy like if you want a comfortable basketball shoe this is one okay so another thing that's cool about the shoe is that inside here usually inside it shows like your shoe sh your sh your shoe size and um, like where it's from, like made in USA or made in China or something. But instead of having it inside the shoe, there's two layers of the shoe. There's the leather part and then the foam part or whatever it's called. And right here on the foam part, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, right there, that's where it is. And then it has the Nike symbol and the Jordan thing. And it shows my shoe size, nine and a half. So I think that's pretty cool. You guys might not think it's cool. And it's where the Air Jordan is, right here. So I think that's sick. But yeah, all in out, this is a dope shoe. And some people don't think it's cool. When I first saw when the bands were coming out, the 31 bands were coming out, I thought the shoe was pretty ugly. But in person, I just saw it and it was, like in person, it's actually way nicer. And that's why I got it. It's gonna be so good for basketball. I'm using them next week when I have basketball. And yeah, oh, and also, about this box over here. So you guys see, it says Nike. When I look at it from my side, it says Nike backwards. And even when I go like this, it doesn't say Nike. I have to look at it from a mirror. So I'm looking at it from my TV, because my TV's right in front of me. It says Nike, so you have to look at it from a mirror. And you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says Nike, I think, for you guys. But it basically just says it backwards. And you have to look at it in a mirror to see the actual Nike symbol. But yeah, so. Let me get the other one out. Yay. Oh shit. Oops. So these are both of them together. This. Backs. Sides. Other sides. Yeah. If you guys want a good basketball shoe, I suggest to get them. It's really cool. They smell really good. I don't know why, but this side doesn't have a... Uh, but yeah, um, the shape on these is really nice too. It's a nice uh, style, um, really good for basketball like I said. You know, you can also wear these for like walking around and stuff, but they made, like the new Jordans that are coming out now are more for basketball. You know, if I wanna get the real or like the 2.0s, like I went to Foot Locker, like let's say I wanna get the um, Shadow Backboard 2.0s. You don't really use those for basketball. 
Like I wouldn't use those for basketball. I wouldn't use the bread ones for basketball. Like the new Jordans that are coming out now, like the 30s, they were for basketball shoes mainly. And then now these came out and these are more for basketball. I wouldn't really wear these to walk around. Like I would get the band ones to walk around, but this is more of a basketball shoe, the 31. And I like it where they're going for that. But I kind of wish, like, now they're just making new colors for, like, let's say, like, the Ying Yang ones. I went to Foot Locker. I was going to get them, but I was like, would I really use these for basketball or would I just walk around in them? And that's why I had to get these because they're more of a basketball shoe. And even the shape of it is more of a basketball shoe. Like, you can tell that Nike really tried and they put so much work into the shoe. Like, it's such a nice, like, it's well constructed. Um... A really great basketball shoe like I said a million times um, this leather is actually pretty good I like it, it feels nice and soft buttery um, but yeah you could tell that Nike really put a lot of hard work in it because like this shoe is hyper than the 30 the 30 was like when it first came out I thought it was cool I wanted a pair and then I was like nah like they're pretty ugly now because I saw them in real life and I'm like no nah, I don't want them anymore and that shoe is still sitting in shelves and now they're on sale actually at Foot Locker or even Champs. But um, this shoe, it's hyper. I actually went to go get them yesterday at um, Foot Locker, in my, my local Foot Locker. Um, also yesterday the Black Toes came out, November 5th um, was yesterday. But yesterday the Black Toes came out too and they released a 31 for the Black Toes. and. I would try those on too, but I didn't really like them because they remind me of like Santa Claus and Christmas. Like I love Christmas and I love, you know, Santa Claus and stuff, even though he's not real. But um, it reminded me too much of like Santa Claus because it was like, it had no black toe. I thought they were going to put a black toe here. All it was was black over here and then red, white going down here and then white over here. And then it was like not too much black and I didn't really like it. So I like this one. I like this one way better anyways. This is probably one of my favorite 31s. These are probably one of my favorite basketball pickups. Um, probably actually one of my favorite pickups of this month. You know, I might pick up, a, I might try to pick up the Cyber Monday 3s or the Ying Yang 1s. It depends. But like, I don't really need them. I needed basketball shoes because my other ones are ruined and they didn't fit me anymore. So I was like, these are what I need most, some basketball shoes. So yeah, this is, might be the only pickup of this month unless I just save up my money and get another pair. Hopefully the Cyber Mondays because those shoes are really dope even though they're still sitting on shelves. Hopefully when I try to get them, they're still there because those, it's a really nice colorway and they match with everything. If you don't know what they look like, I'll put them on screen now. But yeah, so let's get on to the on feet and I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and review portion so yeah So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, smash the like button, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and yeah, that was the review on the Air Jordan 31 Shattered Backboards, so yeah, um, I'll see you guys in another video, and uh, make sure to check out all my social media too, like my Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, that'll be all in the description below, so yeah, peace! Drums, please!